Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Alex Like, and today we're going to talk about the dopamine clock. Now, when I say dopamine clock, it doesn't just refer to administration of the medication dopamine. The dopamine clock can actually be used for any sort of infusion math that you need. Um, and this clock is handy because, you know, these are critically ill patients that we're administering this medication to. And generally when that happens, your capacity to do math correctly uh, tends to go right outside the window, right out the window. So the dopamine clock is helpful in really getting to the answer quickly uh, and with some very high degree of accuracy. So let's go ahead and talk about it. The equation that the dopamine clock is used with is the dose times drip set over concentration equation. So what this means here is you have a dose of medication that you're going to administer per minute. Uh, so let's say um, you know we've chosen our dopamine drip. We're going to give 800 micrograms per minute times a 60 drop set. over a concentration of 1600 micrograms per ml of your dopamine. Now all that the all that the concentration refers to is the amount of medication, uh, the amount of medication, the dose per milliliter of fluid. So that's your concentration, that's what I'm referring to um, when I'm plugging this number in. So if I multiply 800 times 60 drops per minute, that's going to give me uh, 48,000. And then that 48,000 is then divided by the 1600. And this, of course, will equal 30. Now, 30 what exactly? So I always recommend canceling out your uh, redundant or uh, your duplicate numbers, your duplicate uh, values uh, right off the gate, right out the gate. So let's go ahead and get rid of some duplicates here. So micrograms and micrograms will cancel. Milliliters and milliliters will cancel. So you're left with drops per minute. So this becomes 30 drops per minute. Uh, and that's that's what you would hang for your infusion. So this is the actual equation uh, that we would do in long form if we didn't know the clock method. But you know, lucky for you, I'm going to teach you the clock today. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First and foremost, you have to remember that the clock will only work if you are using a 60 drop set. So you have to have a 60 drop set for the clock to work. Uh, and that's because it takes advantage of the number of minutes on a clock face, 60. And that's what makes the clock easy to understand. So have to have that 60. If you don't have a 60 drop set, clock method won't work. You have to use the last equation that we talked about. So let's take our same dose of dopamine that we had before, um, ended up being 800 mics per minute, and, and we can get that because uh, we'll just say he weighs 80 kilos. And the dose is weight-based, so we'll say it's 10 mics per kilogram per minute. And that's how I get the 800 micrograms per minute. That's how I got that number. So remember that 800 mics per minute there. Now for my dopamine, uh, the standard concentration of it comes in a, a bag that is 400 milligrams. In 250 mLs. And if we divide that, it becomes 1.6 milligrams per ml, or to keep it simpler, 1600 
mics per ml. That's your concentration. So just like the last equation, I've got my dose, I've got my concentration, and my drip set is the clock. So that's 60. So this is how we plug it in. So we take our concentration, our 1600 mics per ml, and you put it on the top of the clock. Concentration always goes at the 60 minute mark. So 60 minutes on top, 30 minutes is half of 60. So on the bottom of the clock face here at the 30 minute mark, we put 800 because that's half of 1600. Over here at the 15 minute mark, we put 400 because that's a quarter. And then we can simply add these two values together. If you can't do the three quarter math, and we add these two together, we get 1200, and the 1200 goes at the 45 minute mark. So if this is starting to click now, fantastic. Keep paying attention. So let's take our dose that we had before. This was the 800 mics per minute. And let's plug it in the clock. So if we put 800, it goes nicely here, right at the 30 minute mark. So this 30 minute mark becomes 30 drops per minute. And that's how to figure it out. Obviously, that was a really, really clean type of equation. Let's move on to something a little bit more convoluted. Let's say it's not that nice, even 800. It lines right up on one of those numbers that we've already designated on the clock. So let's, let's look at something more complex. So I've already made like a little stopwatch here. Uh, just to make the um, the actual numbers stand out a little bit more vividly for us. So let's take um, our dose now. Let's say now that our patient weighs um, 100 kilos, and we're going to do 10 mics per key per minute. So 100 times 10 is going to equal 1,000. So the dose here is 1,000 mics per minute. And our concentration of dopamine is the same. It's going to be 1,600 mics per ml, so 400 and 250. So setting up the clock, we take our concentration. It always goes on top at the 60-minute mark. Half of that goes down to the 30-minute mark. Quarter of that goes over here, 15-minute mark. And then you can add these two together to get 1,200 to go on the 45. So where does a thousand fit in here? Well, a thousand is about halfway between the uh, 30 minute and the 45 minute. So it's about halfway there. So I would perhaps plug in right around there, maybe. So I'll say that's 37 drops per minute. And that's what I'll use to hang my dopamine infusion. Now let's let's check that math. We'll use the equation that we talked about in the first part of this uh, little presentation. So dose times drip set over concentration. We'll use that equation. The dose we decided was 1,000 micrograms per minute times 60 drop set, 60 drops per ml over the concentration, which is 1,600 mics per milliliter. Immediately, we'll start canceling out redundant or duplicate values here. So mics, mics, mil mil, so we're left with drops per minute, and then we'll do the math. 1,000 times 60 is 60,000 over 1,600, and our answer is 37.5 
drops per minute. Now, realistically, I can't do a half drop per minute, but let's go back one slide and see where we ended up. 37 drops per minute on the estimate from the dopamine clock, 37.5 drops per minute on the actual value. So that is definitely within a range of um, acceptable uh, tolerance there. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And that's how to do the dopamine clock. Pretty straightforward, uh, pretty cut and dry. Um, you know, practice this out a few times and uh, it becomes more and more familiar to you and a lot easier to do. All right, thank you for watching. Um, you know, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to email me. But I hope you got something out of that video. So until next time, please stay safe, continue to wash your hands, and have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.